Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 5th October 2019. I am Sagan Nandi, designer and developer of Q Trading Systems and Techniques. I used to work in information technology. I retired several years ago. I work mostly in Singapore. Nowadays, I am living in Thailand. I use stocks and stock options for trading, mostly for short term trading. I trade in the USA market as well as in global markets. This is my email ID tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I share my trading ideas regularly on the traders forum sagarnandi.com and also Twitter page Sagar Nandi and YouTube channel Trading Profitably. All of these channels are open to the public. You are most welcome to use them. Let me go through the standard disclaimer first. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. After that, I will try to look for trading opportunities using 360 degrees analysis. That is trading opportunities where the market force, sector industry level force, fundamental as well as technical forces are aligned. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let me continue with the live system. I begin the commodities analysis with oil. I am using the oil ETF USO and looking at it using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. I call this at a glance template because using this template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In my previous webinar when price was at this point, I mentioned that if price went up in the daily chart and gave a cyan color candle, that could signal a go with flow trend following long trade setup. However, that cyan color candle didn't come, instead price dropped. It hit the memory support line, the automatically drawn smart trend line in the daily chart. Bounced up from there on Thursday and on Friday it went up further. At the same time in the weekly also it hit the memory support line and recovered from there. Looking at the bounce from the weekly and daily memory support trend lines it seems that the next move up from here will be upward. There is no Q trade setup right now in USO. If it goes up, you may use the intraday time frame to look for low risk buying opportunity. Gold ETF GLD. In the weekly chart, when it had displayed the reversal candle at the very top at price extreme high. At that time, I warned about holding a long position in gold. That was timely because since then gold gradually came down. 
the weekly backdrop candle color is remaining magenta that is bearish since then. This week's candle shape is indecisive. It has both upper as well as lower tails. In the daily chart, the bearish headwinds could catch the very top since then price is dropping with lower high. When this magenta color candle came, you might take a go with flow, short trade and book profit when price hit the lower boundary level. At the right edge, price is continuing to go down. It has recovered somewhat to the value area. The weekly backdrop color is magenta bearish. If next week in the daily chart price goes down and gives a magenta flow color candle, that may signal a go with flow trend following short trade setup. After commodities analysis, I continue with the market ETF analysis starting with S&P 500 ETF SPY. This week the backdrop candle color is remaining bearish magenta. The shape is bullish because it has a very long lower tail. This week it hit the memory support trend line and reversed from there. Looking at that you could switch to intraday time frame and take a long just as price was recovering to the memory support line. That would give you a very profitable and low risk long trade in SPY. In the daily chart there was a memory trade line support around this price level which was broken on Wednesday, Thursday price reversed with a bull release signal and Friday it went up little bit more. You can see there is a memory resistance trend line near Friday's closing price. It is possible that price will reverse from the memory resistance line and start to go down again. The weekly backdrop color is already magenta. If in the daily chart price goes down and gives us a magenta color candle that will signal the next go with flow trend following short trade setup. Nasdaq 100 ETF QQQ. Here the picture is similar to SPY, slightly more bullish. From the activity bar, you may see that for the week price closed higher because the activity bar is in green color. For SPY though price recovered on Thursday and Friday for the week it ended lower. That is not the case for QQQ. QQQ closed the week higher. It also recovered very well forming a long lower tail and it closed above the memory support line. The memory support lines provide robust support, isn't it? In the daily chart, price is inside a triangle pattern formed by the support memory at the bottom and several resistance memories at the top. When price is inside such a triangle pattern, the direction is not clear you may wait for price to break out of the triangle pattern before taking a directional swing trade in QQQ. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA. This also recovered substantially from the low of the week forming a long lower tail in the weekly candle. Still for the week price declined. It had hit the memory support line and precisely refers from there both in weekly as well as daily chart. On last Wednesday I had the live market meeting 
and at that time I mentioned that both daily and weekly were close to the memory support and suggested not taking any short rate at that time. That was very timely advice because the memory supports held and price reversed on Thursday and Friday. At the right edge in the daily chart price is inside a triangle pattern similar to QQQ. You may not take any directional swing trade unless price can break out of the triangle pattern and the direction becomes clearer. Russell 2000 ETF IWM when price was at the swing high in weekly and daily I had suggested taking a short trade. That was an exhaustion based bearish trade looking at the memory resistances in weekly and daily. I took it using short call vertical and that trade ended with very high profit. I had broke some profit along the way. On Thursday and Friday IWM recovered. It recovered from the weekly watermark support line. You saw the other ETFs were also recovering. Looking at that I booked some more profit in my short position. I had mentioned in earlier webinars that I also took some short trade along the way using intraday charts. Those trades I took using simple put option. At the bottom those simple put options had more than 100% profit. As IWM and other market ETFs reversed from respective support lines. On Thursday and Friday I booked entire position profit on those simple put options. I am still holding partial position on the short call vertical IWM position. What may I expect next? The weekly backdrop color is remaining magenta. If the price goes up little bit in the daily chart and reverses giving a magenta color candle that will signal the next go with flow trend following short trade setup. You may keep an eye for that. That was my market level analysis, the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that I carry out before deciding my trades. What did I see? I saw that on Tuesday and Wednesday all the market ETFs dropped. On Thursday and Friday they recovered. They recovered very nicely from respective memory trend line support. How far other than for QQQ? For SPY, DIA and IWM the recovery was not enough to turn the weekly move into a gain. They all ended lower for the week. Only QQQ ended slightly higher for the week. The backdrop candle color for all the four market ETFs are remaining bearish in the weekly chart. In the daily several of the market ETFs are inside triangle pattern. However, they are having lower highs. If price goes down from here, then you may find several lucrative shorting opportunities. If not in the individual ETFs, in some of the underlying stocks that are fundamentally weak and in stocks that are in weak or weakening industries. Market is not looking strong enough to take long trades right now. What about the sector level? This is how the sector analysis looked like one week ago. Here I am looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The green bars represent performance of one week, green bar performance of one week before that and blue bar performance of two weeks. 
before the green bar. Together they represent about one month of performance. This is the sector performance of the previous week. I shared it in the previous market roundup. At that time, three of the sectors were up and all the others were down. The three sectors that were up, real estate, utilities, consumer staples, were all in defensive areas. That was one week ago. How is the sector performance this week? This week, all the 11 sectors went down. Therefore, at the sector level, the market turned more bearish than the previous week. In this market, you may look for more shorting opportunities and protect profit in existing long trades. From the sector performance snapshot of two weeks, you could have an idea how the sectors are transitioning, how they are rotating. You can see that sector rotation much more clearly from the sector heat map and scorecard. Here you can look at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over the recent periods. Cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness. This heat map instantly tells you what is going on in terms of sector rotation. For this week, the relatively best performers are healthcare and utilities. The worst performers are industrials and energy. The relative best performers are in defensive sectors and the worst performers are in non-defensive sectors. That is also showing the weakness of the market. From the numbers at the top you can see all the sectors actually went down for the week. If you were aligning forces from market level and sector level, then you will probably look for shorting opportunities and not buying opportunities. And you could look for them in the worst performing sectors, industrials and energy. Or you could also look for shorting opportunities in the most decelerating sectors. Acceleration deceleration is shown in the pace column. Magenta color represents deceleration. Using deceleration, you could look for shorting opportunities in industrials and consumer staples. If you combine weakness and deceleration both, then you find this sector, industrials. That will be the sector where I will look for low risk shorting opportunities. As I tend to say, sector level is quite broad. To make more accurate trading decisions, you may look into the industry level and buy into strength and sell into weakness at the industry level. You can find out which industries are weak from the industry scorecard and heat map. Because the market is not looking strong, I am not looking at the best performing industries. Instead, I am looking at the worst performing industries of the week to find out possible shorting opportunities. If you look at the 10 worst performing industries, you will see many of them are in energy sector. That is in line with a sector being the worst performing this week. From the sector industry analysis, if you follow top down approach, you would drill down further find weak fundamental stocks in weak industries or decelerating industries and further look for low risk shorting opportunities using technical charts. That would be the top down analysis. This week let me do things little bit differently. Why? Because on Thursday and Friday market recovered but not enough to turn the weekly backdrop color to bullish. They are remaining bearish. So I am looking for a shorting opportunity if the market goes down next week. That will give me 
low risk high probability short setup how could i look for stocks that may give easier shorting opportunities one way i find those is by running this scan short tip down and i ran it on a list of 324 stocks in the usa market that are liquid and that also have liquid options so you could take the bearish trades using stock itself or using stock options if you so prefer I ran it just now and this is the result. It has shown me the possible bearish signals under different calculations. To make it more visual, I am going to get the data and smart paste it into the trade finder. In this trade finder, any cell that is red color is showing the bearish signal from one day that is from Friday the green cells are showing very signals from one day ago that is Thursday the blue signals are very signal within five days one week and the yellow signals are very signals from previous one week that is over 10 days what kind of signal I am looking for let me start with the retrace signals that is stocks that went up hit some resistance and then fell down again you can see though Friday the market went up three stocks that is Dell FSE and STS actually fell on Friday and they fell after hitting some kind of resistance we can also see some additional information for Dell it retraced on Friday and it also gave a possible go with flow that is the trend following short setup on Friday the yellow cell is showing that one week ago it had a squeeze release what about fast it retraced on Friday it also had a gap down open it fell with heavy bearish pressure all that for Friday and one day ago that is on Thursday it had touched a memory resistance and also bounced down from the memory resistance the blue cell is showing that this week it also had a squeeze release the third stock that retraced down on Friday is SDS it had the retracement and a possible go with flow short trade setup it also had a gap down open the yellow cell is showing one week ago it touched down from a memory resistance and at that time it had a squeeze release also so I had this pattern in mind that stocks recovering somewhat with the market and then starting to go down and these three have already started to go down on Friday let me look at these three stocks one by one I will use the Q global charting system for that let me look at Dell using the standard weekly daily at a glance template what do I see I see that after displaying the bullish headwind in the weekly chart at which point it hit the memory support it recovered nicely that is what one would expect interestingly at that time it hit the memory support in daily and daily also displayed a bullish headwind right at the very bottom using the weekly daily signals you could take a long trade at that time very low risk long entry your entry would be at the close of this candle and your stop would be just below memory support and you could book profit along the way that was then at the right edge the weekly backdrop color is magenta and the weekly candle shape is also bearish 
in the daily there is a memory resistance trend line showing that it is having lower high and on Friday though the market was going up Dell went down it displayed a magenta color candle that is flow candle color turned magenta that gave a valid go with flow short trade setup if you took the short trade your profit target would be at the lower boundary level and stop would be just above the memory resistance the relative performance is also tilting down showing that it is underperforming the market another reason you could look for a shorting opportunity in there the second stock actually ETF that retraced down on Friday is FAC fast you can see it hit the memory resistance and went down from there it also hit the yellow direction line tried to go above that but reversed and closed below the yellow direction line therefore it retraced on Friday however the weekly backdrop color is still cyan because the weekly backdrop is bullish I am not going to look for any short trade in fast right now the third instrument that retraced down on Friday is STS it's also ultra short S&P 500 ETF the daily retraced back below the yellow direction line however here also the weekly backdrop color is remaining bullish therefore I am not going to look for any short trade in STS right now Therefore, keeping the pattern I had in mind, that is stocks that went up with the market and maybe reversing, that is retracing down again, I found one stock that went down on Friday, though the market went up, that is Dell. Following the 360 degrees approach, next step will be to check the fundamental and industry strength or rather weakness in this case we'll have to see whether there we if we have a weak industry for Dell and weak fundamental then we will have a 360 degrees shorting opportunity I use the peer analysis tool to find out Dell's fundamentals its valuation is in the middle not undervalued therefore it is ok to short the earnings growth for these two quarters is going down and it turned negative from the positive data that I have of previous quarter revenue is also going down in the last three quarters therefore fundamentally it is certainly not looking strong enough for buying it's not very weak also it is somewhere in the middle let's look up its industry I can click this industry rotation finder icon and instantly you can see from the heat map that Dell's industry technology hardware storage and peripherals is weakening it was cyan earlier and now it turned magenta therefore now you have a stock that is giving a low risk technical short setup the stock has mixed fundamental not very strong not very weak also and the industry is clearly weakening that is what I call a 360 degree straight setup from the trade finder you may find many other stocks that are giving or likely to give shorting opportunities next week let me summarize some time ago all the market ETFs were going up they were near resistance levels 
and I suggested looking for shorting opportunities at that time. I shorted IWM and that ended up being a very profitable trade. On last Wednesday in the live market meet, I mentioned that now the ETFs were near support level and suggested not taking any short trade. That was also very timely because Thursday and Friday the market went up. The market went up but it was not enough to turn the backdrop color of the market ETFs to bullish. The backdrop is remaining bearish and three of the four market ETFs still declined for the week. The sectors are also weak, all the sectors are down. In this market, instead of looking for bullish opportunities right now, you may look for shorting opportunities. To find such opportunities, you could drill down using the top-down analysis from market to sector to industry to stock fundamental and then technical level. Or as I demonstrated, looking at the weakness of the market and the sectors, you could have a pattern in mind. What pattern could you think of? A pattern where stocks also recovered with the market and now they are likely to go down again. So you could look for a bounce short setup or a headwind setup or a go with flow short setup. In today's session, I looked for stocks that are retracing from resistance. Try to go up and reverse again. From that analysis, I found one stock. I started the analysis with 324 liquid stocks in the USA market and found one stock that is retracing down on Friday that was Dell. I checked its industry. Industry was weak. Fundamentals are mixed. So Dell in my view gave a low risk shorting opportunity at this point. Using the 360 degrees approach whether it is top down analysis or bottom up or inside based analysis or starting with a stock that somebody else gave you. Using the complete 360 degrees analysis, you always end up with a trade setup that is truly low risk and high probability. And whatever be the market condition, you are likely to find a trade setup that suits your style. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.